Tall, thin, blonde, and beautiful. Half Estonian, half Russian. Signa, my Estonian host mother. Highly intelligent. A university librarian who had once worked at Yale. Warm, but direct, intimidatingly so. Why do you say thank you and okay all the time, she demanded. You don't need to do that. <laughs> she took me through the thick Estonian forests, told me stories about working in America as we searched for chanterelle mushrooms. Picking plums and apples at her summer house, she taught me how to choose the best fruit. She laughed when I tried to choke down the sour yogurt comma in her kitchen. I listened when she would talk about life in Estonia under the Soviet rule. I reassured her that her English was good, as she modestly insisted it wasn't. Soon, I gained her trust, and she would let me clean dishes and make jam with her. Malika was short and round, a native Amazir, illiterate, widowed by her first husband. Instantly, she called me her daughter, welcomed me into her home, but refused to let me help. The first night I was there, she took me across the busy street of Hassan Du and bought me something that resembled strawberry yogurt. She was the only person who didn't laugh at my strange mixture of French, English, and Derja. When she came into my room to check on me, we talked about our families together her impossible life as a housewife, the pain of her father dying. I watched in awe as she made the mint tea, every delicious meal in her pressure cooker. Safi, I would say timidly, as she piled more and more couscous and sweets onto my plate. She told me about how their family had had many host students before, but how I was somewhat different. When I cried after breaking her glass jug, she hugged me until it didn't matter. Who were these women to me? Who was I to them? Both so different, yet so alike in their kindness. Never did I expect to form such a bond. Not once, but twice. Signa. Malika. They became my mothers, and I became their daughter. <laughs>